Hello, I'm Larry Nichols, Director of Education and Training with the Kirby Company. Your continued satisfaction is very important to us, and we feel that these video instructions will help you to enjoy the many benefits your Kirby home maintenance system will provide. This program has been divided into five sections for easy reference. The rug nozzle height must be set properly to get the most efficient cleaning action. First, press the large toe touch control lever to raise the nozzle to the highest position, number eight. Press the smaller pedal to lower the unit one notch at a time until you hear a change in the sound of the motor. Now, once again with the motor running. There, a definite change in the sound of the motor. Keeping the arm fully extended, move the cleaner in steady, even strokes over the carpet for best results. Always remember to unplug the power cord from the wall and be sure the motor and fan have come to a complete stop before servicing or changing attachments. Changing the belt and cleaning the brush roll will help keep your Kirby operating at peak performance. Press the large toe touch control lever to raise the unit to the number eight or highest position. With the cord removed from the wall outlet, you are now ready to begin belt and brush roll maintenance. Have a pair of scissors and a utility knife handy for cleaning the brush roll. Raise the headlight hood and turn the square belt lifter counterclockwise as far as it will go. Unlock the accessory lock by turning the lever all the way to the left, then Lift the nozzle away from the power plant. Check the fan chamber opening and remove any lint or other debris. Use a utility knife to cut away any thread, hair, or strings from the fan shaft. To release the belt tension, turn the square belt lifter clockwise as far as it will go. On the back of the rug nozzle are two locking latches. Turn each latch to the unlocked position and pull the brush roll and plate out of the nozzle. Check the inside of the nozzle and remove any lint or other debris. Slightly bend one end bracket of the rug plate and remove the brush roll, making sure to lay it down in the same position as it came out of the rug plate. Look at the rug plate gasket and remove any dirt or lint. Remove the worn belt and check the brush roll for strings, thread, or hair which may have wound around the brush. Use a utility knife or scissors to cut away any debris. Be sure to check and if necessary, clean the ends of the brush roll also. Slip a new drive belt over the end of the brush roll and make certain it is placed in the middle. Remember to install the brush roll back into the plate in exactly the same way as it was removed. The adjustment screws on the end of the brush roll must be placed with the slotted screw heads facing the openings in the rug plate. Place the rug nozzle upside down and locate the two hooks on the front. Hook the rug plate slots on both nozzle hooks, making sure the belt is under the rug plate center rib. Rotate the plate back against the nozzle opening, making certain that it fully closes against the nozzle. Squeeze the rug plate to the nozzle with one hand while turning one latch to the lock position. Then, repeat the process with the other latch. To check the brush adjustment, lay a ruler or flat edge across the nozzle opening.
For best performance, the bristle should protrude 1 16th inch beyond the rug plate. If adjustment is required, turn the adjustment screw on each end of the brush clockwise until the proper length is reached. To connect the rug nozzle to the power plant, turn the square belt lifter counterclockwise until the finger in the nozzle picks up the belt. The two attaching lugs on the rug nozzle are designed to fit over the attaching bar. Slide the nozzle forward, keeping it on the floor. Tilt it back slightly, then hook it on to the attaching bar. Holding the nozzle in place with one hand, turn the accessory locking lever to the right. Turn the square belt lifter clockwise as far as it will go. Close the light hood. To keep your cleaner operating at peak performance, replace the drive belt periodically. Adjust the brush roll when necessary. And change the disposable filter bag often. Twist the mini emptor counterclockwise and pull it away to empty any large particles. To reconnect, simply twist clockwise. The split second snaps easily out of its bracket. The cloth filter is machine washable. Before changing units or attachments, unplug the power cord from the wall. Be sure the motor and fan have come to a complete stop. Keep hair and loose clothing away from the intake ports, nozzles, and power plant. To release the bag, tilt the handle back slightly and push the bag top toward the handle, lifting the clip out of the bracket. Remove the cord from the top and bottom retainers on the handle. Grasp the handle pin and pull it straight out. Remove the long handle and place the small one into the slot on the power plant. Be sure the pin goes through the holes on both sides of the handle. Fold the bag forward and clip it onto the back of the portable handle. To attach the hose, lift the headlight and hook the lugs over the attaching bar. Pivot the hose up against the power plant and lock it on. Lower the headlight and your Kirby is ready for cleaning with any of the hose attachments. The zip brush is handy for removing embedded dirt from upholstered furniture or other areas of your home. To clean the zip brush, press the black button, remove the outer brush ring and pull out the rotor assembly. When replacing the rotor, turn it slightly to be certain that the four tabs click into place. Snap the outer brush ring back into place and you're ready to go. Read all cautions concerning the zip brush in your Kirby use and care booklet. Always unplug your Kirby before filling the reservoir with water and instant suds, and remember not to overfill the tank. To begin, raise the nozzle to the highest position, number eight. Since the floor polisher brush roll is not used when shampooing carpets, remove it from the rug renovator nozzle. Locate the slots on each end of the rug renovator nozzle. Make certain the belt is in the middle of the renovator brush roll and slide the nozzle straight down. With the nozzle on the floor, turn the belt lifter counterclockwise as far as it will go. Raise the headlight and slide the rug renovator tray assembly toward the power plant and lock it on. When it is locked in place, turn the belt lifter clockwise as far as it will go and lower the headlight hood. After filling the clear tank with warm water to the desired level, slide it over the air outlet at the back of the power plant and twist it clockwise until it locks into place. Insert the elbow end of the hose into the hole in the tray. Then push the straight end over the tank outlet. Notice that this tank is filled with water to level three, the maximum capacity for shampooing large areas. The tank cap serves as the measuring cup for Kirby Instant Suds. Three capfuls of suds are needed when the tank is filled to level three. 
When shampooing smaller areas, you may use level two with two capfuls or level one with one capful. Replace the cap securely. Move the Kirby to the area you wish to shampoo. Turn the motor on and quickly lower the nozzle to its lowest position. Immediately begin to shampoo with slow, steady strokes. This allows a full width of suds to be laid down. On very thick carpets, it may be necessary to raise the nozzle one or two notches. It's a good idea to overlap each stroke a few inches. To avoid suds buildup, do not push the shampooer too slowly or allow it to stand in one place when the motor is running. Placing the stop suds over the screen outlet will allow immediate and thorough suds pickup, even when the tank is full of solution. Raise the nozzle to position eight when you have finished. Remove the hose from the tank and place it into the tray to prevent dripping. Twist the tank counterclockwise and remove it. Raise the headlight hood and turn the belt lifter to the left as far as it will go. Turn the accessory locking lever and remove the entire tray assembly. Turn the belt lifter clockwise as far as it will go to release the belt. Remove the nozzle from the tray assembly. Push the thumb pads located at each end of the clear shield and pull it open. Rinse the top and bottom of the tray. Check the brush roll for lint or debris and rinse the shield. Snap the hose from the tray. Two filters will need to be cleaned after each use. The sponge filter and the cloth screen which is held on by a silver ring. To fluff matted carpet areas, turn the motor on and lower the carpet fluffer to its lowest position. For best results, go against the grain of the carpet and overlap each stroke. The unit has self-cleaning brushes and can also be used to bring floors to a high gloss. Remember not to clean or polish floors with flammable or combustible liquids. This program is designed to complement your use and care booklet. Be sure to review the booklet before using your Kirby. We sincerely hope this videotape will help you enjoy the many uses and benefits of your Kirby home maintenance system.